it's your girl AJ Faith. So I was thinking that it would be fun to make a video given all the hair deets on a lot of the hair vendors that I've used within the last couple of years. If you really know me, you know that I'm like a huge virgin hair person. Like I'm obsessed. Um, within the last year plus, I've officially changed over to just wigs. I absolutely will not do a sewing ever again. So um, I think, you know, if you're a person that, you know, you want to get more information on who to go to or you know you have like one particular hair vendor but you want to try something else maybe this video will kind of give you like a insight of where to go to and who to try next so i got the deets and the tea right here so the first vendor is miss sassy mitchell so sassy was like a huge hot commodity a couple of years ago like even if you was like new to weave or like you were already like a huge weave person like sassy mitchell was the girl to go to okay um i tried their natural curl and their eurasian ocean wave hair um uh the natural curl i had both times that i got it i had two sew-ins and then eurasian i had as a sew-in and as a wig um so the pros with sassy is two bundles is like literally all that you will need no matter what length you use and that's kind of rare with any hair vendor like her wefts are so long and very thin whenever i had a sewing it was just always so flat so flawless like i had even like a hairstylist tell me like damn like how am i gonna fit all these these just these two bundles in your head like it's that deep like she like her wefts are bomb i i for the price that you're paying and the length that she's giving you, it's like actually really worth it. Luster, again, is beautiful. Like every time I have some sassy in my head, I'm I'm I feel confident as all hell. Like that hair is beautiful. The luster it fits perfect. Like if you're doing like a leave out, it blends in with your hair perfectly. Like a girl that's our complexion our nationality black girls like it will definitely blend in with that hair so i mean um definitely if you're doing a sewing i would suggest just buying two bundles again um they do say normally the the longer lengths you go the more bundles you want to get however with my experience i always do longest length at least 24 inches and it was always fine like i had a head full of hair and again through going through the throughout this video i will insert pictures of the hair just so you guys can have a reference and see what kind of hair i'm talking about and what it looks like like that hair it's it's beautiful like you definitely i just feel like with sassy you can't go wrong um it that whatever bundles i did color it took the color very well it was beautiful it wasn't frail or or um brassy looking and maybe the person that colored my hair just know what they were doing but however the hair did take color very well um another pro is that even though that they're very pricey, which can technically be a con, they are up there. The price range is up there, but they offer layaway. So um, what you'll do is you'll just email her, email the company and say, this is what I want. You'll put exactly what you want. You'll put a down payment and then you could just pay it off every week. Not a lot of hair vendors do that, which is something I really appreciated back in the day. Because again, like I said, the girls really wanted some sassy hair and sassy mitchell hair and that was the way to get it <laughs> so um that is definitely another plus so my cons with sassy was that when i had the natural curl sewed in and again i'll insert pictures it was beautiful absolutely beautiful but that hair was shedding like crazy like 
in the bathroom in my bed on my floor like that hair was i don't know if it's because i personally think to backtrack i don't think curly hair is the to sew in curly hair is the best option in my opinion the years were in different textures of hair i just feel like you should probably just have it done on a wig and wear it that way because curly hair like laying on it at night and then having to detangle it and then this and that i mean no matter what you're always gonna have to detangle the curly hair which is fine like it's that's part of the process but it was just not cute that hair was shedding a lot and um it did get thinner but it was still it was still full but it did get way thinner right before i took that hair out it conned me because it's like the prices that you pay for sassy it's like i don't know i feel like that that hair needs to be perfect <laughs> me maybe i'm asking for too much but hey so my next vendor is yummy extensions now that's another company that the girls really love like yummy extensions is like another go-to for me i absolutely love their hair it's beautiful the luster the it's just beautiful it takes curls perfectly it's just I really don't have anything bad to say about the actual hair itself. It, in my opinion, doesn't shed that much. I mean, every hair is going to shed, it's, especially if you don't feel the lefts. But Yummy Hair Extensions is is that company. Like, that's, like, the, the go-to, like, birthday hair, wedding hair, like, gala hair. Like, that, that's the hair that you want when you're trying to show out. Like, I love Yummy Extensions hair. Um... The type of hair that I got from them was their natural curl, their wavy elegance hair, and then I just bought Cambodian curly wavy, and I actually haven't tried it yet. It's currently being made now. Um, the natural curl I had sewn in, I believe, twice or maybe one time. I can't remember. I think I had their that hair sewn in twice, and <sighs> beautiful like beautiful again um lengths that i always get um are always at least 26 to 24 inches that's just i don't know i'm a big girl like I, my hair gotta be big too i guess but oh that hair is beautiful like trust me before i get to cons it does stay full um again minimal shedding it didn't shed a lot it may be like a couple of strands even with the cambodian curly wavy hair that i just got again i haven't tried it yet i just got it but like when i get here i'm like playing in it seeing hair's beautiful absolutely beautiful i was playing with it and i barely got any strands of hair which is like where like whenever i'm playing with hair i always get some strands so that was definitely another plus on that um also yummy hair even though it's on the pricier range of of um vendors they always have deals like they always have a random deal that you just have to kind of like look at their instagram page or if you sign up for like their emails they'll email you and let you know that they have a deal coming up and then you know it's like really reasonable hair like reasonable price to pay for hair i should say um like it's like a, a normal price that you'll be paying for any other type of bundles even though they're on the the higher end so that's another pro um my cons with them are that their wefts are extremely short like so short in my opinion you can't get anything less than four bundles especially with just like anything that's non-curly like maybe the curlies you can get away with three i personally bought four just to be just in case because i love my hair absolutely full um but in the past i've made the the mistake of just getting two bundles i guess i don't know i maybe i assumed because of their prices i'm like okay well 
maybe two bundles is gonna be enough but no like you need at least in my opinion anything that's not curly at least four bundles especially if you're gonna do anything on the longer length um another con is their transparent lace um so I don't do frontals um for me I, I just think that my hairline doesn't take to frontals well I don't know why it just never stays so what I do is I do five by five closures six by six and seven by seven closures and it's kind of like the same except for like the it doesn't like end all the way on the side like how a frontal would so what um with them I tried their transparent um six by six lace closure and I don't know um I I when this whole transparent lace thing came out I got excited for it I was like yes but I don't know if it's just um brown girls or just maybe this brown girl but it just did not look natural to me like it looked very noticeable like okay you definitely gotta got a wig on so what I did was um the first time that I actually no I I mean I had the closures before but my first wig that I tried this with I actually got sassy hair and bought a yummy closure because sassy didn't have anything beyond a four by four closure so I definitely wanted something bigger so I ended up getting their closure and their lace um that was the first time I tried their transparent lace and it just did not like melt in my hairline like how I would prefer so I definitely had to um I definitely had to tint it and what I use is um uh like a makeup powder is what I normally use to kind of just tint it in and like have it you know just be seamless in the skin but um I don't know it just I, I wasn't feeling it I always have to tint their lace whatever type of lace they have and I usually don't have that issue with a lot of hair vendors I don't know um and also another wig that I had um a hole ended up getting in there and I don't know how because I'm very cautious with my my hair again I'm a big hair person <laughs> like I'm very cautious like I know how to comb them I know how to brush them well I'm very gentle but a hole ended up like being in the middle of the lace which kind of was very annoying especially again for the price that you're paying for yummy i have to get their their um closures because especially because you don't have anything to match it like with the curly wavy i did get their closure because i was afraid to get any other type of closure because i didn't know if it was gonna match or not but i mean that's kind of stuff that you can kind of look out for and kind of be careful maybe i was i don't know maybe it was defaulted because of me but i feel like it's something that you can kind of look out for and if you don't mind tinting your lace and that shouldn't be an issue at all let's see next vendor is Kendra's Boutique now Kendra's Boutique is definitely a girl's fave um I feel like she's definitely one of those vendors that's like definitely like a go-to especially if you need hair like really quickly you know you just need new bundles real quick definitely go to Kendra's Boutique um with her I tried her body wave and then her body wave platinum wig again I'll insert pictures here um so my pros with her are that there's not really any um, issues with the hair itself. Like, it shedded like a regular weave wig. It wasn't anything like excessive, anything that I could like really remember. Like, oh my God, this is the regular hair, by the way. Like, anything that wasn't dyed or anything, just a regular jet black hair. Um, or, I don't, it's not jet black, it's like the, the natural blonde. I always dye my hair jet black. Um, Back in the day, this is definitely my go-to for sew-ins. Like, I didn't have any disappointment. Especially if you, like, you're getting what you paid for. Her pros are that she always has a bundle deal. Um, she has, like, one bundle, two. Like, she has one all the way to five, I believe. And 
they're very reasonable prices and she has the option of two-day shipping which i absolutely always took advantage of back in the day because i am impatient with my hair okay like if i order hair i want my hair like now i don't know that's just how i am jenna was minimal um the blonde hair that i had um i actually just bought there that was the first time that i actually just bought a wig i usually get as of now i always get my bundles like i order my bundles how it is and then i get all my wigs made um this one i just bought from the the company itself their platinum blonde and then my girl she colored it and tinted it for my birthday it was absolutely beautiful took it very well my cons with that is they're blonde <laughs> now i don't know if i just had like a hell of a birthday weekend but that hair <laughs> By the time it was it was time for me to come back to Boston, like that hair was fried and dried as all hell. Like I really had to condition it. I really had to like bring it back to life. Oils, like like it was a hot mess coming back to Boston. Like it was bad, but I was able to bring it back to life um, with some of the stuff that I have. But it shut it so much. It's like literally half the wig. <laughs> like it was bad um and in my opinion it wasn't even as full as i wanted it to be anyways because again i'm a girl that likes at least four bundles or more and yeah that hair was really fried by the time i came back from my birthday trip last year so um they're blondes i'm a little iffy on i don't know if i'll ever get it again but it was very beautiful when i first got it done like another con with them i never had the, any other brand besides the body wave from them i had a hairstylist that i used to work with back in the day that told me that anything beyond body wave was trash so i mean i don't know personally i can't vouch for that but but kendra's boutique definitely body wave you are safe in my opinion next vendor is hair so fab now the reason why I was like, okay, along with other reasons, but the reason why I was like, okay, I need to get on this wig wave is because I saw Rihanna wearing this texture called the Passion Wave. And I, I don't know if a lot of you guys remember her wearing that that hair at some award show that she went, at, went to. And I was just like, I need this hair. So I ended up getting it. This is my very first wig. And from there it was a wrap. <laughs> like after that, I was like, okay, it's 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 wigs. I I can't go back to no sewing. I don't know how I did it for that long. Okay, so um, with hair so fab, I had their passion wave and a wig, and then their sassy wave and a wig. So with their passion wig, it was my first, again, my first wig. I loved it. It was so big. It was luscious. It was just, it was everything. It, I it, I wore it a little bit too much to the point that there was a bald spot. <laughs> I still have the wig, but there's a bald spot in it and I just can't wear it anymore. But if I could replace that lace closure, which I'm pretty sure my girl can, I'm definitely rocking that hair again. It's still fine. Like... I love that hair so much. It was big and luscious and just beautiful. Um, and then I had their Sassy Wave, which is a wig. So I rocked that as my, like, one of my main, like, black wavy hair. And then I turned it into blonde. And I absolutely love that hair way more that it's blonde. Like, it took the color so well it's not dry even if it is dry like i'll put like a little dot of oil and it'll like bounce right back it's beautiful so so beautiful if you guys are looking for some curly hair i definitely suggest passion Wave. and their prices are not crazy like they're very affordable so definitely check those out so my next 
vendor is another one that was a go-to but is not a go-to anymore is my Hair by Belvry. Now, I used to wear her all the time in the past, especially with sew-ins, and um, I recently just went back to her. So there was a reason why I kind of stopped going to her, and then I just went to other vendors, and then I just recently was like, okay, let me just try it again. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> so pros are she always has a bundle deal, very affordable. Her hair is very beautiful. I'm actually wearing her Bernini's curly hair right now. One of my go-to wigs. This is a year old and it's still vibrant and luscious and beautiful. I love her wigs. I mean, I love her hair. Body wave, it was decent hair as well. Um, it was years ago. I haven't had her body wave in a while, but I don't think it's anything that was like, oh my God, it's like, you know, better than the rest. It was like regular you know decent like go-to hair if you like again if you need hair really quickly you need to just get something decent affordable definitely here by Belle Brie is your girl so my only complaint about her is the customer service so you know you know we talk about all this time like you just want to support your black businesses and you know just stick with them and I'm definitely for that but who Ooh, child the customer service like it's like how many chances do I gotta give you before you just like no no more I'm over it so take you down memory lane these are the issues that I have not saying that this will happen with anybody else but as far as me and my house I'm done I'm all set um I am a type of person like if I pay my money I don't want no inconveniences especially if I need to get my hair done at a certain time, especially if I buy my hair in enough time and it's still an issue with me getting it for my appointment. No, like no. So my first um, issue with her, back in 2017, I ordered some bundles from her. And um, so it looks like I wrote down my, my notes. So I have the dates and facts in order. So, 2017, March 8th, I ordered um, some bundles from her. I believe it was um, Body Wave, I could be mistaken, or one of her curlier hairs. And um, I haven't heard anything for, like, going on two weeks. So, I emailed her on the 21st. And, remind you, I do know that there's a disclaimer that, you know, it's two-day processing and then five to seven day shipping but I never had that issue with her before or any other vendor that that matter I feel like they kind of give that window just like a give or take but something just told me something was off so I emailed her on the 21st of March and then she said that the order somehow got lost and it didn't go to like their main server or something like that yeah, I didn't go to their main server line. So she was like, oh, I can either refund you or um, send out the order now. But I needed the hair quickly, so I just told her to refund me. And um, she did that. It was no issue. So I think I ended up just getting Kendra's Boutique. Two-day shipping. Thank God for that. The second time. So then, like after that, I have not ordered from her for like years later. Now come last year. Or, yeah, last year. Um, you know, thinking, you know, her hair is beautiful. I want to try it again. Like, I just love her hair. Let me try it again, right? So, it was actually with this hair. I ordered four bundles. Um, the longest being 26, I believe, if not 24, of course. And, um, I wanted a 6 by 6 closure. So, on the website, they had their, their bundles deal. Um, it was obviously there. It was stocked ordered that a couple of days later I get a call saying oh the six by six isn't available we can refund you if you want or we can just give you the five by five the five by five okay that's no issue whatever um I really needed the hair because I was going to a wedding so I was like you know what like 
just give me the five by five because I need to hurry up and get this wig made. Fine. So third time <laughs> was again, I ordered their deep wave hair and I ordered their their four bundle deal with their six by six closure this time. Get my bundles. And there's only three bundles in there so my behind was like okay no i need to hurry up and get this wig made i was going to the gala the ebony gala and i'm like i need to get my wig made like what's going on so there was a and i'm just kind of like an anxious person like if i have an issue like i'm like okay i need to like hurry up and get this this fixed so i saw that there was a number i called and the person that answered sounded very unamused, sounded like they didn't want to be on the phone. She was just like, just e email us. I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I should have done that in the first place because we all know if it wasn't an email, it didn't happen, right? Okay, fine. So I emailed them. They said, oh, we have to do an investigation. And I'm like, okay, how long is an investigation? And it, it was going to take like, another couple of days and I'm like okay like um it ended up working that they did the investigation like within like the weekend or like oh no actually it was like over a weekend so she told me I had to wait till Monday and then I'm like I need this here by Wednesday <laughs> so I was like how long is this investigation gonna be so then she ended up shipping it out on that Monday or Tuesday and I ended up getting it by the Wednesday so I was able to get it done I would have done in enough time, but it's like, bruh, like, how many times do I have to go through an issue with one vendor? Like, I feel like I have not, knock on wood, <laughs> have any issues with any other vendor but this one company. And it's like, I really do love her here. Like, I really do. But I'm the type of person, like, I just don't want to be bothered. Like, I don't want to have to be calling and emailing and, and worrying about, oh, am I going to get it in enough time? Like, no. Like, get it right the first time. Like, what's the issue? So, I mean, if that's not an issue for you, and if you order your hair well in advance, like, at least two months in advance before you need it, don't, with this company, don't get their hair right before you need it done because it, it could there could be a hiccup that's just my opinion but again i love their hair this is their burmese curly that i have in right now so my next company is her hair company um i absolutely love their hair and to be honest i don't even have uh, any cons i'm very surprised that i don't i haven't tried their hair again after this last time uh, instead of picture Um, I had this hair for like my 25th birthday here, had it colored, it took the color beautiful. I like literally had that hair for like the whole summer, like it was beautiful. It, it, it did shed, like every curly hair sheds, but it wasn't like that crazy. Um, it was just, I don't remember ever complaining about that hair. Like, very affordable, they have bundle deals, they always have bundle deals three four like i'm pretty sure i'm gonna end up getting that hair again soon i don't know why it's taking me that long but it's been a couple of years but i love her hair company like if you need some curly like regular curly hair i definitely suggest going to them they're bomb and i think they're shipping was fine as well i also tried d hair boutique Now, I tried her, like, years and years ago, like, years ago, when she first came out and before she even had, like, celebrities in endorsing her. Like, um, I don't even remember what kind of hair I got because I feel like she changed the textures on her website. Like, nothing looks familiar to me, but it, w it was a more of a body wave texture, and it was, like one of my first couple of virgin hair companies that i bought i like like dyed it and lifted it myself <laughs> and i'm not a professional but it still was like it was so dope like i love that hair 
the only con is that her prices definitely went like all the way up since a couple of years ago she has like celebrities endorsing them and, and all that so maybe that's the reason why i don't know or maybe the quality is different now i'm not sure but it was bomb back in the day i can say that my next one is white label hair Oh, white label hair. <laughs> so my coworker had this hair and her hair was absolutely beautiful. I was like, okay, I need to get this hair. I don't know why I got it because when I say that hair was horrible to me, horrible, horrible, horrible. I got the... Let's see. I got their Burmese curly in the three bundle in the three bundles. It was just shedding like crazy, like clumps. I've never had hair to this day that shed as much. Just clumps and clumps and clumps of hair that would come out. And it was like the texture. I I I mean, when I think of Burmese curly, I think of this texture, you know? With that one, it was like a afro texture i mean there's which is absolutely there's nothing wrong with that but that's not what i would a big afro to me and i like really really had to define it in order for that hair to work um a lot of hair is a lot of high maintenance don't get me wrong but that hair like i literally had to email her like am i doing something wrong or like is there anything that i should know about or any products that i need because this hair is just not it and um she did give me a um a product like i hear it didn't it was not for me i had to take it out so quick it was a sewing again like i said earlier earlier i don't suggest sewing in any curly hair because it's just a hot mess i prefer taking it off every night but I, it was just not it it was not it at all it's so sad. Their prices were okay. They had a bundle deal. I would run far away from it. That's just my experience. Like, my coworker absolutely loved them. I haven't really even heard any bad reviews on them. I'm the only bad review I have of that company. I don't know. Yeah, those are just a couple of companies. And, like, these are the companies that, like, really stuck out. And some of the ones that I continue to use to this day, like... Um, I still use Yummy today. I use Hair So Fab, Kendra's Boutique, and Sassy. Like, those are, like, the main ones that i kind of using right now. I hope this video was very helpful. Um, I will give a review on my Yummy Curly Wave hair soon if you guys want to see that. And, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.